Hi, in this module we'd like to discuss fats and oils. Now the basic structure of a fat or oil starts with three carbons and a backbone. So we call it a three carbon backbone here. And off of these carbons, a long strand of carbons, and these are esters, C, O, O, and then a C right there. So we have ourselves ester groups here. Now I can't tell you how long these carbon chains are because these are naturally occurring products. Let me give you a little example of olive oil. Olive oil has these strands naturally occurring in some length. I'm going to make a note down here, maybe like 14 to 26 carbons in length would be a common range. Now, these carbon chains can have all single bonds, and I'm going to purposely do this with the carbon chain that's in the middle. Now, I'm not going to try drawing 26 carbons all the way across the board. I'd carry on too much. We get the idea. Every carbon needs four hydrogens, so there's a bunch of hydrogens along this chain. This has no double bonds in it, so we have a little note to make this. This strand here is what we know as saturated. So when you look at nutritional facts labels and see saturated or unsaturated fats, saturated is referring to no double bonds but all single bonds, carbon-carbon single bonds. The term saturated comes about because this is completely saturated with hydrogens. This is the most hydrogens you can have. If you have a double bond, it knocks a couple of hydrogens off the formula. On the top strand, on purpose here, I'm going to go ahead and make a double bond in there. Now, this is a particular double bond. I have the chain coming in. It's coming in from the bottom, and then it leaves from the bottom. So again, the chain comes into the double bond from the bottom, leaves from the bottom. I could have had it go from the top and then back out the top, and it would be the same, because I can rotate this around a single bond. So top, bottom, it doesn't matter. Since I have the chain coming in on what we call the same side, bottom, and leaving on the bottom, we call it a cis. And that tends to be pretty good. We metabolize these pretty well. On the bottom chain, I'm going to mix things up, and I'm going to have the carbon chain coming in on the top, and instead of leaving on the top, I'm going to have it leave on the bottom. People aren't very happy with these because we call these trans. The idea here is the carbon chain is coming in on the top, leaving on the bottom, or opposite, or trans of one another's. I put a little unhappy face because we're told from the research that we don't metabolize these very well. And the research is indicating problems with these, and certain cities are outlawing these. So pretty soon we're going to have smuggling of trans fats into restaurants and stuff because it tastes better. People tend to like the taste of these better. So we have trans fats, cis fats, saturated. Just having double bonds on these, we would call these un unsaturated. Unsaturated. Points of unsaturation, the double bond. Now lately in the news, people have been thinking, hey, I've been reading and I would like to take part in this. I'm going to increase my concentration of omega-3s. And omega sounds science fiction of some kind, but it's not. It's the last letter in the Greek alphabet. And what it's implying is, we don't know how long these carbon chains are, but we're supposed to number the carbon chain from the functional group. So if I were to number these things correctly, I should start numbering going one, two, three, and on out. But I don't know how long these chains are. So some of the chains, I'd go to 14, 16, 22. I don't know. But it's at the end of the chain where omega-3s tend to be important. And here it goes. At the end of the chain, so here I am at the end of the chain. I'm interested in coming in on one side and leaving on the same side. So I'm going to kind of do this number here. Cis. Omega would be the end of the chain. So the carbon chain goes on, hooks up with the three carbons, has the ester on this side. We're going to number backwards. Instead of numbering here from the functional group, we're going to number from the end. So an omega 3 fat simply means we're numbering from the end. Omega is the last letter. We're numbering from the last carbon on the chain, telling people we're not naming normally. And after the third carbon in, we have ourselves a double bond. And of course, if you're up on the fats right now, omega-6s tend to be popular. So you can imagine coming in another couple of carbons after this, having another double bond and such. 
the advantages of saturated fats. Naturally occurring fats tend to have many, or polyunsaturation, many double bonds. If they're in the cis configuration, particularly at the omega-3 or omega-6 position, people are happy and they say, these are good fats. You find these in flaxseed, almonds, salmon. You, you take your pick, you take your favorite product that's high in omega-3s. However, some time ago, people were interested in saturating them on purpose, saying, let's add hydrogen to knock out the double bond and saturate these. The advantage is it gives a more solid-like product, margarine and Crisco, which is a brand of shortening. So people are going, wow, these single bonded chains, they lay down better, they pack better, and give us more solid-like structure. So we can have imitation butter, margarine and such. Now, shelf life is longer for your saturated fats because you no longer have double bonds, which are functional and can undergo oxidation or decay or mold or something. So saturation is good because you have solid-like product for people saying, hey, I like a solid product, and shelf life, but they're not as healthy. The research tells us we're not healthy with trans and we're not healthy with saturated. We should be looking at unsaturated with cis. Um, one more little point, and this is just a shame. It goes like this. When we saturate, so if you read a product and it says partially hydrogenated vegetable oil, what they're doing is hydrogenating, adding hydrogen across the double bonds to make this. Unfortunately, if there are cis bonds, they become saturated. If there are cis bonds and they don't become saturated with hydrogen, they actually flip and become the trans. So there's a negative and another negative, which is just a shame.